Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and you're watching TheVog.net. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Allison. She's new to the Vogue team, and for her first assignment, she'll be demonstrating to you just how easy it is to post photos to the gallery and insert images into a forum thread. So, here's Allison. Thanks, Andy. It's a pleasure to be a part of this community, and I'm looking forward to getting involved with the Vogue. As we've learned, posting photos on a website can be a real pain. But Andy and the Vogue's web team have done a great job in making posting images on the Vogue a simple process. Instead of having to use Photo Bucket or other image hosting services to post your photos and then linking them to a forum, Andy felt it would be better to allow the members to post their images directly on the site. You've probably already noticed that the Vogue is different from any other website. That's because it was built from the ground up to deliver a bunch of new features. While inserting images on other websites can slow it down to a snail's pace, the Vogue has spared no expense in all the stuff that goes on in the background as well as placing this site on a state-of-the-art server that operates lightning fast even when a thread is loaded with photos. The reason we did this was to enhance the user experience. After all, who wants to wait around while a page is loading? Having the ability to insert images in a form thread is a good thing. This way, when you're reading a thread, instead of having to click a link to view an image, it simply will become part of the thread. While there's multiple ways to do this, here's the method I prefer as it accomplishes two tasks. It places your image in the Vogue gallery as well as giving you an easy way to insert it into a thread. First, make sure the image you want to post is on your computer. Whether you save it to your desktop or to your My Pictures folder doesn't matter, as long as you know where it is and can find it. Now, make sure you're logged on to your Vogue account. While anyone can view anything on this site, only registered members can post images, participate in the forum, and get involved with all the features of the VOG. Membership is free, and it only takes a few minutes to register. Let me say this again. Becoming a VOG member is free. So if you're watching this video and you haven't registered, what are you waiting for? Once you're logged in, you are automatically taken to your profile page. From this page, simply click Submit Items and then click the blue Upload Picture link. This takes you to the page where you'll name your image, assign it to a category, and browse for uploading. Here's a trick. You can also get to this page by clicking the Gallery link and press the Upload Your Images button. Either way, it takes you to the same place. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? Now, all you do is fill in the blank to name your image. Use the pull-down menu to assign it to a category. Select who can view this image, it's defaulted to everyone. And click Browse to locate the image you want to add to the gallery. Once it's selected, just press the Upload Image button and within just a few seconds, your image will appear in the gallery. Now that wasn't too difficult, was it? The rule of thumb to successfully uploading an image to the Vogue's gallery is to make sure that the longest dimension of your image is less than 3,000 pixels. If the image is too large, the thumbnail of the image will not appear in the gallery. Most computers include a built-in image program that will allow you to resize an image that may be too large. An easy fix to this is that if you know you're taking photos that will be going online, just change the settings on your digital camera to a lower quality setting. Don't worry, it will still look great online. To view your image, just click the gallery link and look, here it is. You've just successfully uploaded an image to the gallery. You can also view the images you've uploaded by clicking My Account and then My Public Page. If you scroll down, you'll see all the images you've uploaded. 
The most recent image is at the top. Now let me show you how to take this image and insert it into a forum thread. First, click the gallery link and locate the image you want to upload. Then, click on the image and when you get to this page, just scroll down to the image URL location box. See this link? This is the link to the image. Now, just highlight it and either right click to copy it or hit the Control and the C button to copy it to the clipboard memory. Are you with me so far? I promise we're almost finished. Now let's insert that image into a forum thread. To do this, just navigate to the forum thread where you would like the image to appear. In the quick reply box, there's a bunch of buttons that perform specific tasks. What I like to do is to first type in a description of the photo and then hit the enter button on the keyboard to provide a space between the text you've just typed in and the photo you'll be adding. Now just click on the image button. Clicking this button opens a new window. To insert the image, just paste the link you copied from the gallery into the source box. Once it's pasted and appears in the box, just press the tab button on your keyboard and you'll see the image in the box on the left. Just press OK and check this out. Your image is now inserted in the thread. Now, just press the post reply button on the forum thread and check this out. Here's your image. So that's how you post an image to the gallery and insert images into a forum thread. So now it's your turn. Let's see those bikes and those mods. So grab your digital camera and take some shots and post them to the gallery. For TheVogue.net, I'm Allison and I'll see you on the road and online.